Couple things to note about this heist. It's still stealth only, so for anybody that was hoping for a loud variant, you are shit out of luck. And the second thing, which I probably should have mentioned first, actually, is you probably noticed the modifiers. One of them is new, or new-ish. I can't mask up. There we go. There we go. One of them is that you can't uh, camera loop cameras anymore. Like, they only last five seconds. It says five seconds. Realistically, it only lasts, like, two seconds. So, yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to deal with cameras just the way they are. There's also no cam guys, so you can't get rid of them either. Fun! <laughs> the reason why I'm telling you is because I noticed that when I was doing it for the first time, I was like, wait a minute, why is my, why is my secure loop not working? <laughs> it just kept going away. I thought I broke the game or something. Nope, that's just how it is. That's one of the modifiers now. Any, I don't know why I took them all the way up here. I don't think anyone comes up here until they search. However, when they search, they will come up here. <laughs> so this is not a safe area anymore. For now, though, should be, should be okay. Check out the camera. Anyway, you're gonna turn. You're just gonna stay there. You're just gonna stay there. Now it's gonna turn. So Turbistation is not too different from Murky. Same core. Nice. Same core objectives. You gotta get your SSD. It's not a hard drive anymore. Damn, upgrade, son. You gotta get your key card. There's also a QR code floating around somewhere on the top side. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's always on the top side. I've been trying to see if it comes to the sieves down here. But I haven't noticed it. Maybe it's just more likely that it's up there. Anyway, yeah, there's one sieve that has, like, a QR code on his butt, and you gotta get that, too. However, the one big change to this map from Payday 2 that also makes it really annoying, in my opinion, is that now you have to get an employee and use a biometric scanner and open a room. And in that room... And in- oh, shit. This is not going well. Huh? What? No, fuck, no, I wasn't sleeping. Hell no, except I had this dream. Where the shit have a man with a kangaroo, a stair monster, and a goddamn sea monster? See a camera. <laughs> Turn around, please. I need to get out of here. There we go. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> there is an employee, dude. Literally this guy right here. Ooh, I almost dropped him in the thing. There's an employee, dude. You have to hack a biometric scanner. This biometric scanner gives you a limited time to open the key card. Or not the key card, but like the points of interest up top and that's like the main change and I was about to say that the reason why that's so annoying and difficult now is because you have to deal with like all the guards the sieves and the cameras and you can't get rid of cameras and you know there's two guards and three sieves and these are roaming sieves too so one of the more get in the water yeah there you go <laughs> and one of the more um, difficult things about this mission now is that you can't really get rid of any of those things easily. With the sieves, you, you know, you kind of can, but you have to take it slow. So I got rid of, what, two sieves now? There's one sieve left. I still want to get rid of them. And there's still one guard here. <laughs> After that tiny debacle, I'm honestly surprised that I didn't get spotted by anything. You know what they say, though, sometimes luck is the best skill. That's why I always pick uh, that luck skill in, <laughs> in Fallout. It's always the best. Best for encounters. Anyway. Yeah, so... That guy is necessary. I gotta bring him to the bioscanner. But not only that... Unlocking the loot has, like, a limited time. And... 
Yeah, that just makes things annoying. You get to run up and down. As if it wasn't already hard enough doing it solo. <laughs> now you're just, you know, extra punished for it. Some people may like that. Some people may rise to the challenge for me. I just want to get this over with. See what I mean by these cameras can be annoying? <laughs> they just happen to watch angles perfectly. So you do gotta be careful. Hey, camera. Nope, he didn't walk in here. So the bio scanner is on the other side. Yeah, it can spawn in either this one or that one over there. This one is a safe spot here. You're kind of covered by both. It's probably a waste, but we'll just leave it on him. Um, so I got one sieve left down here. Oh, I would like to get him when possible. Civilian. There he is. Which way is he going? I think one of the nice things about Payday 2 Murky Station is that once you learn the mission, it's... I don't want to say it's easy, but like, you know, it's a lot quicker than most other stealth missions because... Yeah, once you understand the mechanics, you can bum rush it, you understand the safe spots, how to access the loot, stuff like that. It makes it for a nice, quick mission, bite-sized, if you will. Payday 3 gets rid of that and makes it, you know, because you, you already have the slow stealth. You can't really be sprinting all over the place. Detection is much quicker. And now, you know, we have stuff like this. Where? Oh, no. Get on your knees. Yeah, you have stuff like this where, you know, you can't really uh, just access the loot. Now you have to go through a, a secondary and tertiary step. Check out the camera. And I can't loot these cameras either. All right, let's see. Where did I leave the guy? Yeah, so here's the biometric scanner room. There's a guard. What is the best way to take it? There's a camera there. Camera there. How nice of you to stay highlighted. Oh, save me, little Clorox bottle. <laughs> yeah, I didn't... Uh, the way I've been doing this so far, I haven't gotten very far yet, but the way I have been doing this so far is that I... Like, I'll put a sensor on either a guard or both guards, and then for these cameras, I'll just kind of dodge them like this, because it's not too hard to dodge the cameras if you start eliminating a lot of the other obstacles. Perfect. Check out the camera. But yeah, the, the biggest thing is, you know, you just really got to take it slow in that case. Now, though, I've used up a pager, which I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. I'll take that. Like, I'm not sure if I'll need that later. Hey, camera. I kind of wish for Titan cameras they got rid of this, like, circular look. I don't know... Maybe this was an intentional design thing, but it makes it really difficult to tell whether or not, like, the camera's actually looking at you, or if it's looking some other direction. Although, now that I say that, that honestly might be a, like, intentional design choice. It just sucks, though, because at a glance, if I highlighted one, I can't tell if it's still, like, looking at me or not. 
Anyway, now that I got that open, uh, I'll show you guys what I mean by, like, the hacking thing. I haven't actually gotten too far after this because I usually get spotted and I'm too impatient. I mean, look at this. We're already fucking ten minutes in and I've only done, like, prep work, so to speak. Three bags. Right, this game doesn't show you how many bags you've already looted. So yeah, I don't think um, any of the sieves down here had a QR code on their butt means that there's one up top that has it. Unless a guard can have it, I'm just not sure about it. Can you have it? No, oh, man, he's like right in that freaking corner. Can't really do anything with him there. Hey, there's a guard. Yeah, he doesn't have anything on his butt. There's a guard. Oh, he does go right in front of that computer. Hey, there's a guard. You know what's one really sad thing about this game is that because interest has died off so much, like, you know, it's it's basically a dead game. Not a lot of people are playing. But the real big travesty about that is that that also means that people just don't care to actually mod it. <laughs> I was really hoping that at some point we'd get some fun mods. And there'd be stuff like, oh, you know, get rid of, uh, get rid of the ping spot, make it back to interact spot. I think that'd be something that I'd really like, and yeah, we don't really have that. <laughs> like, nobody's even really modding the game anymore, it's so sad. Yeah, so see, you have a minute to open a door up there somewhere. <laughs> So, now I have to actually do the heist. Let's actually not... Yeah, let's ignore... Um, rushing for that, because that'll just get me caught. I have to actually open all these doors first. And prepare for it that way. See, there it is. Open that. Yeah, so I don't know if I mentioned this in this run, but once you open this, <laughs> the guards will actually... Uh, oh, this is a QR code one. The guards will actually start walking through it, so it's not very safe. So this is a. She said it was a not important loot. Oh, this is the sieve right here, and that's the guard. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Check out the guard. So yeah, I think. I don't know how many sieves there are up top here, but there's at least one, and at least one of them has the QR code. This guard. Boy, <laughs> really? All right, fine. The shitty thing about the new way stealth works in Payday 3 is that when you put bodies down, the guard. they're not in a nice little bag anymore. They're just in a floppy body that you can't really control, like, where you place. It makes hiding the bodies in these car doors this really guard. difficult. Civilian. Looks like he's there. Do you have... Oh, he does have the phone. Okay. Oh. Didn't expect him to move so fast. Hey, there's a guard. Wait, I'm f fucked.
What was spotting me? That looks like it might come in handy. There's a guard. Guard over there. Yeah, this isn't a safe spot either, because that guard literally walks over here. Watch the zip. Um so unless I find a really good place to hide them, which I don't think there is back here. Yeah, no, they, they blocked that off, too. <laughs> Let's just continue my journey in opening all these doors. Yeah, I'm not sure if I really like the changes to this mission, because it, it, it just... It, it just makes things long. <laughs> like, now I have to open all the doors beforehand. I can't just open it when I find it. Stuff like that. And I get that it adds a layer of difficulty or whatnot, but it's also just really annoying now. It's just so slow. This is supposed to be a quick mission, Payday 2. Now it's not. Actually, I'll just open both. I think it's worth it. Even if... Even if it means that guards pass through it. Uh, I think it's better than I have that option to, to duck in at any side, any time. Can't pick from this side. Too bad just lockpicking doesn't give you rush. Well, I mean, starting lockpicking. <laughs> Actually, I can see how that can be abused, though. I just don't want to spend so much time lockpicking, man. Eh, no reason to mark the drones, actually, because that's just wasting my marks. Let's see if that opened that side. So, yeah, I have to... Hey, there's a guard. Oh, shit. Double, guys. Guard. There's a guard. Thank you for the rush. Zoom, baby! Oh, yep. Hello? Can I, not, can I not open that one? Didn't even give me a notification? This must be one of those... Yeah, I can't pick from this side. Hey, there's a guard. There's a guard. Two butt boys together. Oh, I just didn't even see that Check guy. Getting nothing but wrong trains. Some other valuable items on the Quant shipping manifest. Might be worth looking around in here. Up to you. We haven't even gotten to the most fun part yet. Moving bags. <laughs> oh, payday. Hey, there's a guard. Ah, speaking of which, I know it's pretty late, 19 minutes into the heist, but uh unfortunately I can't use transporter yet because you know they haven't leveled it up this is the first thing i've done guard oh shit check out the guard guard i also don't like that these train cars have like the little 
little things under them. They give you a false sense of security. They're not really useful except for just... Uh, <laughs> except for just, um, like, the drones up top. Oh, can't pick from that side. Oh, actually, I should be okay. Yeah. I think that might be from this side. Is a guard. Ooh. This seems like a pretty decent spot to hide. But yeah, there's another um there's another mission, I forgot which one it is. I think it's a uh, nine nine boxes. Yeah, 99 boxes where, um, like, you think it's safe to hide behind, uh, or under the car trains, the train car door thing. <laughs> Fucking, it's sorry, it's early in the morning. This is a couple runs in, so I might have repeated myself. I might be stammering. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, man, go fucking away. There's so many guards. But yeah, well, what was I saying? Like, um, it gives you a false sense of security because you think you can hide under them, and then you just really can't. Like, Guard over there. they're just not that good at, at covering you. Guard. It's nice that the music picked up now that I actually have some loot, though. Oh, no, no, no! That's four. That hurt. Well, that's what this is for. <laughs> Game. Alright. Um... So... There's no real way for me to actually know or remember which is the actual train with the right loot. I'm just going to guess. <laughs> I, I suppose. Let's see, there's a guard still in here somewhere. Check out the guard. Guard over there. I don't have a... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't have to do that one. Oops. Maybe this one behind me. Now this one's open too. Wait a minute. Guard. Guard over there. Oh, so these I can't even open. Okay. Uh, I fucked up. Ah, this is fun. It's funny when the game has kind of a... Uh, an emphasis on co-op here, because this would be so much easier if I could just have a guy down there hack the computer and then there's a guy up here, you know? But <laughs> this game is also pretty fucking dead, so... Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's funny. Actually, it's just funny, that's all. Hey, 
as a guard. Let's go and see what I did do. Yeah, there's nothing here. This is one I did do as well. I just realized there's extra loot here, yeah. Orbit stabilizer? Solar panels. There's a lot of extra loot. Guard. Just paranoid. Not sure if, you know, like maybe there's a new pathing that guards will somehow come over here now. So not only does this not have loot, it doesn't even have extra loot. Question marks for a bit. This guard. This one has nothing either. Where was the one? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I, I I I guess I should figure out ahead of time which is the train car that has the loot. But I'm trying to I'm trying to remember where the ones are that that have it. Is it the one across from me? Oh, yeah, it might be this one. Or am I not, actually? If I can just look in there. Oh, there's nothing in here except extra loot. So it's not this one. Immovable chair. So if I make my way to the other side, come up this way. And then maybe it's that one over there that has something. Hey, there's a guard. Guard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I just noticed the quants on the thing. Maybe that's like an indicator. This one has quants too. Maybe they all have quants. Are you gonna move? Like you're literally next to the entrance. Yeah, see, he walked right through the car, car door. That's pretty sketch. It might be this one. I can't even see into it. Here. Guard. The 
this guard. Now I have to wait for this guy. Yeah, see, uh, I, I, I'm not sure I like this change because, like, I get that it adds a, a layer of challenge, possibly a layer of co-op. Now you can converse with your teammates and stuff and uh, cooperate more, but it also just adds a, an extra layer of time to it. And, uh, I, 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 I did quite like Murky Station being just a, a bite-sized heist. Okay, well. I could have sworn he saw it before, but I guess not. Boy, that's a wasted pager. Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> if I knew that, I just. Ah. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine, 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 fine. <sighs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I didn't sprint, did I? That's a secure area. Don't take too long. The security door will only stay open for a short time. Then you'll need to unlock it all over again. Oh no, of course he comes up at this time. So how do I unlock this? There it is. Oh no. <laughs> I got 12 seconds, baby. Unless this isn't this isn't one of those. That might not have been one of those. I think it might be just the extra loot that requires the timing. I might have just missed that the first time. Oh well, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, the worst part is, now that these guys walk through here, if I bring the loot out, they might see it. Hey, a guard. So I wonder... Oh. Yeah. I think I'm just going to call it after this. As fun and as in enjoyable as it would be to try to get all loot solo. Um, I kind of got to... This P has kind of turned to poo now. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> I, I just got to go to the bathroom in general, man. I mean, this update came out in the morning. Mornings is when I do my routine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can also see on my fancy schmancy HUD little thing that it says that uh, there are four crates out there that I have yet to open, all of which probably have loot. And I don't, I'm not really keen on staying here for like an hour. I mean, you know, would be nice to put in the title of video, all oh, loot secured, but I don't know. Even those people don't seem to care so much anymore. Or if they do, I don't know. Uh, YouTube is just difficult business. It's hard to tell what people want.
There was a guy that just walked by. You know, I'm not even sure if I saw a lead guard. Thanks, Dallas. I think those count, right? Even if they're on their back and, and I leave. Guard over there. I think they count. I guess just with the way this map is designed, the lack of cameras up here, the drones are pretty easy to get by. Even if you get spotted under one, you can just walk by it without getting like instant detected. Not that I want to test it, but I'm pretty sure it's a little generous. There's a guard. Let's see. This is another one. So let's just give that to whoever's not carrying anything. Are you carrying? Yeah, you're carrying. Wolf is not carrying anything. And then I'll just move the rest and then call it a day. I can do that much. And the guard down here, yep, still getting spotted by my little micro cam. Forget, is it micro cam or sensor cam? I think it might be sensor cam. He might make his way all the way over here. Well, after this, I'm gonna give old Cook off a try and see how that one changed. I can't imagine that won't be much different either. I don't know how, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not super happy that the new challenge system or the new uh, leveling system rewards extra EXP for stealth finishes and for all loot secured. I want to test if that also means like it scales up to all loot secured or if it's a binary, you either secured all the loot or you didn't. Because if it's a binary, you know, true or false, you did or didn't, that's not good. That really doesn't change things. I feel like loot should be scaled based on you know, proportionally on how much effort you put in, like... Just see this heist, for example. I'm already 40 minutes in, doing a solo stealth. You know, that's already supposed to be a quote-unquote challenge on itself. And I would like to be rewarded for any extra bags that I secure. You know, that's just how it is. I, I just... It would be nice to feel like what I'm doing mattered. But knowing full well that, you know, only all loot matters, or none of it, you know, you either get all or none, then that's a pretty shit situation, and I'm not really sure what the developers are thinking, and I I don't know what they've been thinking for a long time. I guess they have enough people that are supportive of their, of their views and changes and stuff that they're not keen on actually appeasing, you know, the people like me that are disgruntled with how things work. But the funny thing is that I am no longer in the minority. <laughs> you know, I, I used to be a pretty vocal and... and uh, I don't know. Like, I, what I used to say was not what other people would agree with. Oops, sorry. I got something in my eye. The difference being, Payday 3 has had both a horrible release and the game is essentially just not being played. People are not happy with the game. So I imagine that there would be some drastic changes in some way or form, but haven't had much of that. So I don't know. That's five bags. 
Anyway, I feel like I've done a pretty decent job of, uh... At least showing you guys... Kind of the thought process I use for this heist and whatnot. Sometimes when I do these live commentaries of solo stealths, <laughs> it's just like, uh, hurt there, I'm just gonna run around and do shit, right? Like, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't make sense and it's a little bit harder to follow along, but I feel like I gave some decent strategy tips this time, right? Like, two guards down here, three sieves, get rid of the sieves, makes it a lot easier to move that final one, that final uh, employee. I guess technically that that means there's four sieves down here. So yeah, get rid of the three, get the fourth. Up, oh shit, up top is not too bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't throw my bag. Oh my god. Again? Alright, this counts. This is a solo stealth. Ah, fuck this game, man. Are you fucking kidding me? This garbage piece of shit fucking game in this fucking dedicated server. Still no fucking offline mode. <sighs> All right. I shouldn't have gotten, I shouldn't have even bothered with the extra loot. <sighs> well, that's how it my mood. Okay, anyway, um, fuck, I'm just gonna.